What's up guys, welcome back to Cool with Clinton. So in this video, I'll show you how to add secret information in your Django project and you understand. So let's as you can see we have a secret, we have secret key here. This secret key needs to be protected, you understand? So let's assume you push your code to GitHub and someone goes onto GitHub and uh, someone goes onto GitHub and access your source code. That person will have access to your secret information. I don't want that to happen again. So it's really really vital you know how to keep this hidden to just you and you alone you get so it might not it might not be your secret key it might also be your database credentials or some other passwords you want to keep secure you want to keep private so in this video i will show you how to do that using environment variables so that's for that do we are getting started right now so this is how we do so this is how you do it right here so just go down to your to your to the start button so click on it and just search for env you do that you see something pop up you see a pop up at the front you, on top you see what we call edit the system environment variable so just click on it so let's click on it. it's going to take quite some time so if you click on it you see at the bottom you see a button that says environment variable so click on the button so after we click on the button now you see we have two sessions we have the user variables and we have the system variables so what i'll advise is i should pick the user variable the user variables is good enough for, for what you want to do you get so if you watch closely i have some i have some keys i've hidden over here you stand so you see i also use i also use this method myself so now this is what we are going to do right now so now i'll just click on new so i can add a new secret key you understand so this is how we're going to do it now. So I'll just simply give my secret key a name. I'll just simply call it SEC, S E C, and I'll, I can simply say secret, secret. Oh, oh that's my secret. Okay, secret now, secret, and I can just give it underscore key. Understand? This must not be in capital letter. It can be in lowercase form. Understand? So after you've done this now, go down to the my source code, I'll go down to my code now and I, I can copy my the value of my secret key. Just copy, control C, understand, come back to the environment variables again, which is here, and you paste this. After you've done this now, click on OK. You can see the variable name is called secret key. This is the value. So click on OK. So you can then come down here. You can see we have the secret key just here. Okay, so after you've done this. You can then click on oh, I'm not making any mistake. You can then click on OK at the bottom. So that's it has been saved in a stand. So after you've done all this now, what what you what you need to do is you need to close your text editor and reopen it. So I'm gonna close my text editor right now and then reopen the text editor in a stand. So this is just what I just have to do. So open the text editor once more. So it's gonna take quite some time. So now the, my VS Code is, is already opened, so now you can see we we have already hidden the secret key, right? So now I can simply remove this one. Stand now. So what you have to do now is that you have to go to the top of your code and import OS. Stand. So you say import OS. Okay. So after you might have imported OS, so you need to do this next. So we come down to the secret key. You know we've already removed the actual secret key there. So you just simply say os.environ, you stand dot environ. This is a dictionary. os.environ is a dictionary in stand, and you can use a get method on it. You get so you can say os.environ.get. So now you remember, remember you called our secret key. I'm gonna use double quotes. I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a quote there, either double or single. So I know we call our secret key secret key in capital in stand secret underscore key okay so i want to clarify something here you can see we have the secret key here you get so this secret key we have inside the parentheses is not referring to this one we have outside this is actually coming from the environment variables i'll show you where it's coming from it goes on to the environment variables you click on it on the environment variables button you scroll you see where we have this you can see this is where the secret key is actually coming from you understand not the key is not coming from what you have what, what you have here again is coming from the environment variables. Okay, understand. Okay, so now just save your work now. You get so after you might have saved this. So you want to be sure everything is working properly. You need to run server. If the server runs, if the server runs, 
I mean, everything is fine. So I wouldn't activate. I probably need to activate my virtual environment. So let me say work on, and sorry, work on. So let me make you see this clearly. So for the time wasting, so simply say work on newbies. So I'm going to run server Python manage spy run server. So it won't take quite some time. So if this server runs successfully, that means what we did here is actually correct. There's no error to get. Okay, if you watch closely, the server ran successfully. Everything is looking very, very fine. You get everything is just everything is fine so now. So this is how to hide secret information in your Django project. You understand? Using environment variables. There are different methods, you understand? But using environment variables, this is how you do it. It's, it, might not, it might not be your secret key, you know, it might be your database credentials. It might be some of your it might be some other passwords or some other information you want to keep secure. Environment variables is really, really a is a great way to do this, you understand? So if you come to the end of this video, I really hope you I really hope you learned something new today. So do me a favor by subscribing to this channel, like this video, and say something about this video in the comment section. I love to hear from you. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed and bye-bye.